Good morning, my name is Luigi Concetti. Uh, I will show you today how to make risotto alla milanese. Risotto alla milanese is one of the most famous dishes of the traditional Italian cuisine. First of all, what we need to have is a nice broad. I make today the broad with the vegetables and the pieces of meat which I use hand. Uh, but you can use also just vegetables to do the broad. Um, I use carrot, onion, uh, celery, of course, potato, a zucchini, and um, a few herbs from my garden, like parsley, thyme, uh, wild fennel, and rosemary. A piece of garlic, pepper in grain, uh, and a little piece of skin of an orange. The other ingredients of the recipe is chopped onion, minced like the grain of the rice, two spoon, large spoon of olive oil, 40 grams of butter, two spoon of bone marrow, little salt, a glass of white wine, dry white wine, parmesan, parmigiano, 320 grams of rice, carnaroli, saffron styles, saffron powder. Let's start to make the risotto by eat our broth and evaporize our dry white wine for a couple of minutes and just leave apart, keep warm. And let's start our recipe. Adding 20 grams of butter, two spoons of olive oil, and the onion chopped. If you have gas, just maintain medium heat, just on the top of medium heat, will be fine. And after a couple of minutes, when it's transparent. Add the rice and toast it. Steer from the center to the side. Try to not stop. Toast it is very important because the grain of rice might have the porous in which It's getting close, probably, and you maintain al dente the rice until the end. Step for a couple of minutes. Add the wine evaporized and stir and cook until it's absorbed just a couple of minutes as you see it's already absorbed let's start to cook our rice with the broth just put at the beginning two levels keep going to stir we keep going to with another level Obviously the broth has to be salted, but gently, not too much, because you can correct and add the salt in the end as, as you like. Salt and pepper, of course, as you like. And wait until it's absorbed, but not completely. Leave always a little bit creamy. Let's add the Italian saffron from Abruzzo. And another level of broth.
when you wait, you can start to break the parmesan. It's very important to break the parmesan during the cooking to maintain fresh, tasty. Put the butter, stir, parmesan. Stir again, exactly in the middle. Hit a little bit, a little bit of saffron. Fresh grated parmesan, and this is the risotto la milanese. So let's have a taste of our risotto. Buonissimo.